you are brand new to bounty hunting or an experienced professional sweaty player, make sure to watch this entire video because I am arguably one of the most strongest bounty hunters in all of Block Freaks. Even though I may not have 30 million bounty, that's simply due to the fact that I like to go outside once in a while and touch grass, you know, take Rectway's mom on a nice romantic date, just the usual things. It took a lot of time and practice to get where I'm at right now, so I might actually regret making this video because I'm about to take all the knowledge I know about bounty hunting, put it into one video to teach you guys how to become the best bounty hunters you can possibly be. Huh? And no, I know what you're thinking right now, it is not all pay to win. And don't worry, I'm not gonna sit here in the safe zone and just yap all video, we're gonna get some PvP going while I teach you guys. I already see a max level player over at the middle town, so we're gonna go fight him while I explain to you guys why I'm here in the first seat. So, the reason why I'm here in the first seat is because when you start PvPing, you kinda wanna warm up here. These are the seas where people don't typically wanna fight, they're just kinda doing their own thing or helping a friend level up. For example, I am absolutely clapping this guy right now and he doesn't even know what's happening and i accidentally missed the last ability he's alive with one hp that's actually hilarious little does bro know he's already dead and i collected 11.3 thousand bounty but as i said it is extremely easy to collect bounty here because people typically do not know how to fight in the first seat it's more of a warm-up seat so if you're just getting started bounty hunting this is the place you want to be you're in the right spot there we go we got him for another 11.2 thousand bounty while i was talking to you guys he rudely interrupted me this brings me on to my next point as you can see he's using t -Rex. T-Rex fruit. T-Rex fruit is actually really good. I know not a lot of people have that kind of Robux to get permanent T-Rex. That's 2350 Robux. That's a lot. So instead, I want you to focus on one fruit. And that one fruit is actually the ice fruit. So let's go ahead and equip that. If you don't have enough Robux for that, don't worry. You guys can actually get this fruit extremely easy from the Blocks fruit gotcha. And the thing is, about the ice fruit, it is really good in every single seed. The first, second, and third seed. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but personally, I think ice fruit might be one of the best fruits fruits to fight with in the entire game. And yes, I'm saying even better than Kitsune. The reason why this fruit is so good for PvP is because how easy it is to use. It is so easy to combo players with, and once you get them stunned, they're pretty much dead. Let's test my luck right now. Can I even get it from the block fruit gotcha if I randomly rolled right now? And let's see, we actually got magma fruit, which is even worth more than the ice fruit. Since I have max capacity, I cannot hold this fruit. I'll go ahead and give it to this bacon noob over here, who's actually using the smoke fruit right now. Go ahead and eat that, buddy. Oh my gosh, why is this face look like that. I was expecting a regular smiley face, not the man face. Anyways, let me show you what the ice fruit can do in a more difficult seed. So to make this combo work, all you need is the ice fruit and a fighting style and of course some sort of victim that's gonna get hit by this nasty combo. So using my observation, I think we already found our first victim. Let me show you guys what I mean by as soon as they get hit once, they are dead. He is stunned. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Stun him again. Deal all that damage. He was able to save himself temporarily but that's not gonna last very long. RIP to broski because he is dead now. 14.9 thousand bounty. He was worth a lot. You guys see how easy it was to combo somebody? Huh? Even though he had super high bounty and even knew how to Kentrick, which means he was able to dodge abilities, he was still no match for the ice fruit. And he was using sanguine art. So if you're still sitting here looking at me like, number, I do not want to learn how to combo at all. I don't even care how to learn any skills. I just want to get free bounty. Well, huh? I'm going to teach you another thing, but be warned. If you use this, you will probably get returned back on the shelf at the store by your family because they will disown you after seeing you do this. So don't come crying to me when every block fruit player hates you for this. Go ahead and whip out the one fruit that you're gonna need, and it's Buddha. Yeah, you guys are probably expecting that, right? It's really sad to say this, but it works very well. Buddha spam is the move. This is the cheap and easy way to gain bounty. It doesn't matter what sword, what fighting style, or anything. All you need is the Buddha fruit, and you need to make sure you do the right stats. To do the right stats, you need to go ahead and refund your points. Whether you use Robux or Fragments, you're gonna go ahead and put it into Melee, Defense, and Sword. And now, everybody and their mother is gonna to hate me. I don't think Rectway's mom's gonna call me on the next date after seeing this video. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, if you're not max level, this combo right here is so perfect for you to use because you can use this for grinding NPCs and I think we might have our first victim here. Does he have his PvP on? Is he willing to fight? He seems friendly. He is very nice. He said hi sir and I asked him if he wanted a PvP and he is afraid of me. He does not want a PvP. <laughs> so that actually brings us to our next point. If you're in a server where nobody wants to give you bounty or PvP, that's perfectly fine. Another pro tip for bounty hunting 
happening is clicking this little server menu at the top right, oh. opening this screen, and just jumping into random servers. Until you find somebody you want to clap, of course. So another quick little pro tip. If you're not max level yet and you're trying to bounty hunt, this is the perfect combo for you. Because you can fight somebody that's 400 levels below you or 400 levels above you in order to get bounty. Otherwise, if you're outside of those parameters, you're not getting any bounty. The game won't reward you. Speaking of which, there's somebody over here who looks like they're willing to fight. Let me go ahead and transform and wait a second. Why am I the unawakened Buddha? This is not what I hand in mind, but uh, you know what? I think it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and destroy him anyways, and oh my gosh, I instantly melted him. Did you guys see how fast that was? Did you guys see how much skill I used? That was zero skill. So as you guys can see, whether you have Buddha awakened or not, it still works, and uh-oh. This guy back for his revenge. Let me show bro the power of zero skill real quick. We're gonna go ahead and use our shark anchor, and oh, he's using the ice fruit against me. Didn't I just show you guys this fruit? Let me just go ahead and, you know, do this real quick. Go ahead and hit him with a nice combo if I can move. But this guy knows his own combos as well. There's nothing really for me to do besides just spam M1, and he'll pretty much be dead here. I feel really bad for him because this is toxic, but it works. Another pro tip is never use the barrier fruit. Huh? See those green stairs in the sky? If you ever see that fruit, don't even bother using it. So now let's put it to the test. Will I be able to destroy people in the third seat? Let's find out. This guy's using dough, but I think I'm gonna absolutely destroy him in like a second. Yeah, as you guys can see, Kitsune is not a joke. It is a serious, dangerous blocks fruit. That was a max level player that I made to look like a level one player. <laughs> it was it was really bad. But let's go ahead and, you know, just hit him again with Kitsune. He's gonna go ahead and try to run away from that, but a uh, little does broski know. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with another combo. He's also using the shark race, and he's in some serious trouble. His shark race saved him so much damage, but he is still not gonna be surviving this. By the end of this fight, he's gonna be destroyed. And there we go. We got some more bounty from him. So after embarrassing that dough user over there, he went ahead and called his other uh, marine boyfriend. Huh? He's also very high level and actually has 19.4 million bounty. There are three marine players out there, and like I said, anything goes. So they're just gonna be teaming against multiple people just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself involved here and go ahead and clap broski real quick. He's gonna get one shot by me like this. Bro is absolutely done for in just a second. I just gotta go ahead and land the second part of this combo, but his shark race saves him a lot. There we go. We got 11.3 thousand bounty, and now it's time for this Buddha user to die. He has his PvP on. I'm not sure why he's just standing there. So let's go ahead and make an example out of him real quick. And oh my gosh, why does he hurt so much? Let me go ahead and awaken because why not? For some reason, I am taking double damage. And oh my gosh, there we go. We got him down to half health now. We're gonna go ahead and transform into the full Kitsune form right now because we need that speed boost if we're getting double teamed right now. Maybe even triple teamed. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy with the Kitsune ability. We're gonna go ahead and dash on top of him, but the Doe user is coming back to help him. Like I said, anything goes, so they're gonna team as much as they possibly can. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. He is so close to dying. This Buddha user is so low. And uh oh, this Doe user is teaming the heck out of me right now. We gotta go ahead and snipe this guy. He is one shot away from dying, and there we go. We got 17.5 thousand bounty from him. Oh my gosh, he was worth a lot. Remember how I said the ice fruit is powerful in pretty much every seat? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like here in the third seat. And speaking of which, the fight's right in front of me. I'm using the ice fruit right now. That guy got absolutely destroyed. Let me go ahead and try to fight his buddy over here. Wait a second. That guy has McDonald's Wi-Fi. He is lagging. Oh, he just disconnected. Oh yeah, what's also pretty cool is that McDonald's Wi-Fi is standard here in the third seat. No, I'm just kidding. I made that one up. But let me go ahead and just combo this guy real quick. He walked inside of the ultimate ability and now he's in some serious trouble. He is pretty much dead now and we got 11.3 thousand bounty. Somebody else decided to show up, but he knows he's gonna get clapped. As you guys can see, such a really cheap fruit is so overpowered. It was even powerful enough to destroy a Kitsune user. I really hope bro is not coming back for round three. And whoa, he came back and said, you're trash? Okay, bro is furious. Bro is punching the air and he's enabling his PvP. Okay, watch this, boys. I'm about to make him even more mad. All they have to do is just stun him again once his PvP is up. <laughs> Oh, this is so toxic. He is so mad right now, boys. Oh, man. Broski is absolutely punching the air right now. I just 3 3 him after he called me trash. Don't forget, boys, smack talking is also guaranteed here in the third seat. People like to talk a lot of smack. Whenever they talk smack, all you have to say is two words. Ya mama. He's even insulting the ice combo. He's saying it's trash combo, bro. Bruh. I'm telling you guys, it is so overpowered that you're even getting third seat players mad. So that's all I have in store for you guys. I proved to you guys that the ice route can be just as good as it is in the first, second, and third seat all combined. You could even make players rage, but if you guys enjoyed this video on being a pro bounty hunter, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!